today on Be Something Wonderful. What if everything you want had no power to make you feel anything? I am your host, Tom Kieran, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. Powerful video here from the studios of Be Something Wonderful here in Las Vegas. I just want to remind you at the end of this month, March 30th, on Saturday morning, 9 a.m. Pacific Coast Standard Time, we're going to have our third live stream, our third live event of the year to be broadcast on the Be Something Wonderful membership channel. Sit, keep sending your questions to info at besomethingwonderful.com and the topics that you want to discuss. I will answer those questions. We'll talk about those topics. We'll also take some questions in the chat while the live stream's going on. Our third live event on the Be Something Wonderful membership channel. If you're a member, check it out. If you're not, check out the link below. Creators, welcome back. Big video this morning. I want to talk about this powerful discussion I had with a client based on yesterday's video and even some questions that she had. The difference between being fulfilled and experiencing fulfillment in the imagination and that fulfillment, the experience in 3D reality. But it's that distinction that that's the distinction that keeps you from experiencing your fulfilled desires now, keeps you from manifesting and creating that reality right now, right? And she really got this idea that I get it now, that, that what I want, what I desire has no power to make me feel anything. Hear this, fulfillment doesn't come from the things out there. Fulfillment doesn't even come from your changing thoughts and feelings. Fulfillment doesn't come from any of those changing conditions. We're gonna talk about these ideas today and more. What if you knew that everything you want and desire had no power to make you feel fulfilled? What if nothing you want and desire had any power whatsoever to make you think and feel better about your life experience? Wow, in other words, your experience of reality, because that's all reality is, it's an experience, right? What if nothing out there had the power to make you think, feel, or experience anything? Wow, hear this. Hear the power we're talking about here. Hear the magnitude of what, where we're headed today, right? What if nothing out there, and including the changing conditions within, your changing thoughts and feelings, had, had the power to make you think, feel, or experience anything. Wow, this is powerful. What if your sense of well-being and fulfillment didn't come from how you feel and what you think and what you are seeing, perceiving, and experiencing out there as 3D conditions? What if? Well, that is the, that's the truth. None of it comes from out there, none of it, how you feel, what you think, what you're seeing, perceiving, experience out there creates that sense of well-being or fulfillment within you. What if you didn't have to think or feel anything to do great things? In other words, to be healed, to be whole, to be, to be complete, and to be fulfilled here and now, right? Referring to that show, The Chosen, right? That scene, where Jesus says to his apostle, I don't need you to feel anything to do great things. What if you didn't have to think or feel anything to do great things? In other words, to already be healed, to already be whole, to already be complete, to already be fulfilled here and now. Imagine the works and wonders you would do. Imagine the realities you would create, the life experience you would create and imagine. Imagine that if, if it had nothing to do with those outer conditions. It had nothing to do with those changing thoughts and feelings because that's what we're always dealing with. We're always trying to cope with those. Cope with our changing thoughts and feelings. Cope and tolerate the 3D conditions. Believing if we do that, we'll feel better, think better thoughts, and have a, have a better experience of reality. In other words, manifest what we want. But it has nothing to do with that. Imagine the works and wonders. You could, if that's the truth, then you can't feel. 
if what you if what you think and feeling and the and the outer conditions don't have any effect, then you can create it all from that I amness, from your I am story, right? The chosen. I don't need you to feel anything to do great things. After one of the apostles asked, I don't I don't feel any different. Like when Jesus was going to send his apostles out to do great things, to do work and wonders, right? Imagine the miracles you would create and manifest in your life if you proclaimed, hear this, that you are healed, that you are whole, that you're complete and fulfilled and healed right now, here and now, fulfilled, absolutely. If you proclaimed that, like the apostles, imagine what you would do, the works and wonders. This is what Jesus said to his apostles when he was telling them that they're going to go out in every direction, two by two, referring to the duality of the 3D world, where he goes, you're going to go out two by two. In other words, acknowledging the world of relativity and duality in the 3D world. You will proclaim as you go, as you go, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. In other words, you're already fulfilled. Do you hear it? I don't need you to feel anything to know that you're already fulfilled, to proclaim that the kingdom of heaven is at hand, that fulfillment's already yours, that you're already that person you want to be. Fulfillment is here and now, not, not just in your imagination. The, the only place fulfillment is, is within you. It's not, everything's imagination, everything's reality. It's not, that idea that it's just in your imagination and that it has nothing to do with the outer experience is what's keeping it away from you. It doesn't come from changing thoughts and feelings and changing outer conditions and, and the manifestations, right? Mani it doesn't come from manifesting what you want. How many times have you manifested what you want just to determine like, I didn't really want that? Or, or manifested what you didn't want to determine that, hey, I really did want that. Happens all the time, so it doesn't come from that. It can't come from that. It, does, it comes from some place of truth within you, the truth of who you are. That's why Jesus said that. So where does fulfillment and absolute well-being come from then? That's your question. Well, it's not your thoughts and feelings. It's not those outer conditions. It's not even the manifestations of what you want and desire. It doesn't come from them. It comes from your story, your I am story, the story that you're telling about yourself, the idea of your self-concept, your assumptions of who you are, your entire life experience of reality, that I am awareness is just a story that you're telling yourself. Sure, there's thoughts in that, in that story, there are assumptions, there are beliefs, but it's your story. You make it all up as you go. As you go, you will proclaim as you go, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Imagine if as you go, you were declaring that you're already fulfilled, that you're already healed, that the kingdom of heaven is at hand within you. But instead of proclaiming I'm fulfilled here and now, you tell the story of wanting and desiring things that you assume you are not and that you assume that you don't have. And that if you have these and if you are that person, then you'll feel fulfillment. Then you'll feel good. Then you'll have good feeling thoughts. Do you see it? So believing and assuming, that's where feeling fulfilled comes from. But... When your story changes, your entire life experience of reality changes. Do you see it? You, you, as you go believing, that's where thoughts and feelings come from. But, but really, where do they come from? They come from your story. And when you change your story, you change your life. You change your experience of reality. You change reality. Because that's all reality is. It's your story. There's nothing outside of your story. Do you see it? So believe you. So as you go, instead of proclaiming I'm fulfilled, but and, and believing and assuming that's you believe and assume that's where fulfillment comes from, right? But but where does it come from? When your story changes, everything changes, right? Believe and assume that it all comes from your story. That's what we're saying here, right? As you go, but instead of proclaiming I am fulfilled here and now. You tell the story of wanting and desiring things that you assume you are not and you don't have. Instead of telling the story, proclaiming that I am fulfilled, that I am that person I want to be.
And, and knowing that that's where feelings and thoughts and everything comes from. It comes from that story. And when that story changes, everything changes. Your reality and your entire life experience. So your thoughts and feelings are not reality. They merely express your story about reality. <clears throat> Hear this. Powerful. Your thoughts and feelings are not reality. They are just expressing your story about reality. They're expressing your I am story. They're, they're an effect. Hear this. They're an effect of your story, the story you're telling yourself. Because you think and feel a certain way, you assume the changing conditions are real or reality. And you give them power as you try to cope with them. Try to think and feel better about the story you are telling instead of telling a new story. This is huge. Do you hear, hear it again? Because you think and feel a certain way, you assume the changing conditions that you're seeing are real or reality. And you give them power as you try to cope with them, as you try to feel and think better about that story you are telling instead of telling a new story. Tell a new story of who you really are, of what you really want. Make that your reality. So how do I do it? How do I, so what do I do? How do I tell my true I am story? Remember, I am awareness is pure love or unconditional love. So tell the story of love, or in other words, tell the story of what you love, your desired end, your desired identity. Connect with what you love. Connect with that imagined end. Connect with that identity that you desire to be in the reality you desire to experience, right? And instead of trying to cope with your current story, instead of trying to think and feel better about reality or your current story, instead of giving it power and, and trying to think and feel better about it, change your story, tell a new story. And that changes your reality. That's powerful today. Tell the story of what you love, the I am story. That's the greatest love story ever told. <laughs> the I am story, right? Identify with what you love instead of what you doubt and fear, right? A, that story and identity becomes your entire life experience and reality. So tell the story of what you love, not what you fear. That becomes your entire experience of reality. It's the greatest love story ever told, the love story of what you desire, of who you are, who you want to be. The game of life, right? The game isn't about the changing thoughts and feelings or the bad or good outcomes, or getting fulfillment from out there, right? It's coming, it's connecting with and telling the story of what you love. That's the game of life, right? It's imagining you already are that person you desire to be as fulfillment itself. That's the imagination game. That's the game of life, right? Allowing all outcomes and all possibilities to exist and then letting go of fear of failure because knowing that fulfillment doesn't come from thoughts, feelings, and conditions or anything outside of you, you can't ever feel. Do you hear when you know that feeling better or feeling good or feeling fulfillment or feeling well-being or that wholeness that who you are doesn't come from the out, outer conditions, doesn't come from those changing inner conditions of thoughts and feelings, you can't fail because it comes from your story and you get to tell your story. Play the imagination game. Tell the greatest love story ever told of what you love and who you desire to be. I am the game of life. That's the game. The I am game of life. I am the game of life, right? Wow, that's powerful. Stop assuming that you're powerless over unwanted outcomes, realities, and thoughts and feelings. Right? That, was, that was the whole message of Jesus in front of Pontius Pilate. You would have no authority or power over me unless it was given from above. Stop assuming that you're powerless over unwanted outcomes or realities and thoughts and feelings. Allow all them to be and exist. Allow all possibilities to exist. Allow all outcomes to exist. While connecting with, imagining, and telling the I am story. Tell the story of what you love. Tell the greatest love story ever told. Stop denying your natural ability and allow the power and authority, that inner authority of your natural beingness, awareness of being that which you desire to be, to rearrange reality, 3D reality, around your new story. It's law. 
It must rearrange it around that new story, the greatest love story ever told. Right? Let all those other conditions be there. It's not about those. It's not about judging, oh, I failed or I didn't fail, or that's good or that's bad outcome, or this thought is a good thought or a bad thought. Allow all that to be there and go back to tell the story of who you really are, the greatest love story ever told. What if everything you want had no power to make you feel anything? I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of Higher Consciousness where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself.